change it up a little bit. Oh, goodness. Now what to do, what to do? Hmm. Hi, cat. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyone have any suggestions about what I should do right now? <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, yay. see here well let's see here is there anything in town here uh, nope nope and nope let's see here I think I need to go to old Charlian Seeking Sanctuary. The Crystal from Beyond. No Bloppers have gone before. A Watered Charlian as a Mistral. Oh, goodness. Hmm? Love you too. <laughs> it's the title of one of the quests. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Alrighty. to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. oh my goodness. Now oh, literally it's like, what to do? I don't know what to do. Cutting sanctuary, cutting the cheese. Eh, yeah, might as well cut the cheese with the lumber. Jeez. Kalanu! Oh, thank goodness you're here. It's absolutely terrible. Awful. An emergency of cataclysmic proportions. What is it? I I don't know, actually. They didn't say. But doesn't it sound simply dreadful? What I do know is Building Way has been asking after you. He said if I happen to see you, I should tell you to hurry over to... Kidonia Knolls with all haste. Well, what are you standing around here for? Away with you! <laughs> okay. gone before. <laughs> Let's see what this one's about. Jamming way. Alrighty. Kalanu! You're a Kalanu, yes? Oh, thank ever so much for coming. In truth, I've been searching all over for you. You see, there is a most pressing matter for which I can use your wisdom and expertise. Oh, 
but we haven't actually been introduced yet, have we? Name's Chamingway. I had the honor of serving as the communication officer aboard the Ragnarok. So, anyhow, to the matter I spoke of, it began the other day when my curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to send a reconnaissance probe to Ultima Thule to investigate the environs. Imagine my surprise when my robotic friend responded just a short while ago with the most urgent and dire distress signal. A distress signal for Ultima Thule? Now, even after you and your companions mercifully put an end to the threat of the final days, surely this intrigues and worries you as much as it does me. I was just about to venture there to investigate further, but there's no telling what dangers might await. And I am communications officer, not an adventurer. Please join me in thumbs down so we may boldly go where you have gone before. <laughs> ay ay ay. Alrighty, alrighty. Since this one is closer, head over here. Oh my goodness. What am I gonna do with these bunnies? <laughs> Here we go. Dive a down, dive a down. Dive a dive a dive a dive a down. Wee hee hee! Alrighty, cannot fly any further. Jamming way. Clonu, I knew you'd come. Clearly, we have acquiring minds and a crushing need to be used in combat. Any road, I'm pleased to report that the Ragnarok has already been prepared for our journey, a journey that fortunately will not require the massive quantities of ether that were necessary for our previous voyage beyond the stars. How can this be, you wonder? Hells if I know. Whether it's a party gift from Mother, or perhaps the manifestation of Medion's true desire, Vessel is strongly connected to Ultima Thule. So strongly, in fact, that it somehow simultaneously exists in both locations, here in Labyrinthos, and out the edge of the universe. This is making more sense to you now? No? Well, it matters little whether it whether it matters is when we get to the other side and see what's troubling my dearest probe. On that note, let's be off. Alrighty, here we go. Whoosh! Alrighty, here we go. Back to Ultima Thule. Jamming way. See, the Ragnarok exists here, surely as it did and does back in Labyrinthos. With the vessel forming a conduit of sorts, we may also easily teleport between the two locations. Convenient, wouldn't you say? Precisely because the locations are so incredibly connected to each other. However, I fear what whatever has triggered my pro's distress signal has the potential to threaten Labyrinthos as well. And so, I want to investigate without delay. Let's see now. It would seem that the distress signal is coming to base Omnicron this not far from here. Let us hope my automaton friend can enlighten us to, as to the situation. Alrighty, alrighty, here we go. Here we go. The base Omnicron. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, alrighty. Cheaper just to fly over there. Well, definitely quicker. Here we go. Let's see, uh, all the way up over here. The jamming way. Ah, Clonum, this is my precious reconnaissance automation. Automaton. And yet, it would appear the good for nothing bucket of bolts have gotten his oily claws all over it. Pray stand by for a moment while I give it a good talk. Oh boy, here we go. You miserable sack of sockets. What in heaven's name do you think you're doing with my oh so valuable automaton? Completing logic circuits? 
and 7,000 categorically denies the accusations of this Hirstu organism. An advanced life form such as N7000 has no needs of such outdated technology. On the contrary, these units took pity on the spaceship machine and primitive society which created it and designed and deigned to issue a warning. Primitive? Outdated? I'll show you primitive outdated you! Wait, what's this warning you speak of? Initiating simplification. To explain the imprecise terms that your crude mind might comprehend, sometime after the organic life form known as Kalanu came in contact with M017, the Omicron's notice an irregularity. Specifically, a powerful burst of energy from the remnants of a lost world. No doubt a reaction to Kalanu and his companions defeating the Endsinger. Fortunately, the energy wave itself caused no appreciable damage. Less fortunately, it housed within the encoded message from the strategic matrix known as Stigma 1. The message contained a single word, a single command, live. That seems innocent enough, whatever is the problem. The message reached the sensors of Stigma 4, a logistics matrix that has long lain dormant. Shocked back to life at the behest of his fellow intelligence, it has resumed its duties in constructing weapons of mass destruction. Furthermore, it is a statistical probability of 99% that it will launch a full-scale assault on the eminently detectable home planet as soon as production is complete. Oh boy. Can't produce weapons if you're exploded. Perhaps we can remove its power source somehow. Somehow. Hmm. Units projects that this would be less than ideal. Stigma 4's production capabilities are necessary to ensure that Omicron's existence maintain in perpetuality. Disabling or destroying it is incompatible with the command issued by Stigma 1. Is there no way that we might simply change his mind? If Stigma 4 is convinced that war is essential to his survival, could we not persuade that it is an unprovoked offensive that might threaten its existence even more? The grubby organic life forms proposition has merit. As a military information and operations specialist, this unit does possess the capability to rewrite the memory banks of other artificial intelligences. If this unit were to hack Stigma Force neural core and implant the memory that such an offensive would lead not to victory but to failure and near eradication, it must logically conclude that preemptive attack is ill-advised. To accomplish this, this unit will access Stigma 4 and use a dimensional manipulator to generate a virtual environment stimulating the memories of war. It must transverse the environment and nullify Stigma 4's expectation of victory. That sounds simple and not at all likely to get us killed. What do you say, Kalanu? Can't be any tougher than Omega, right? <laughs> ay ay ay. That was one fight that I won't forget. Commencing strategic operations protocol, all participants in the mission, please accompany this unit to the access point at once. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. Time for a little bit of fun. <laughs> and now that the little one now had ice cream, She's now back watching kitty programs, bouncing on her bouncy ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. From this access point, it will be possible for this unit to establish a communications inter interface with Stigma 4's neural network. You may be interested to know that this is the first time that this unit has been able to perform its intended function since the day it was commissioned. This unit is honored and will do its utmost to maximize the probability of success. Or, are you saying that you've never actually done this before? You really had me going with your advanced intelligence talk, but at least my probe had work experience. Flea written life forms evaluation is inaccurate. This unit is equipable with dynamic functionality. 
It simply has not encountered technology formidable enough to require its full capabilities before. More significantly, this unit has succeeded in establishing the interface with Stigma 4. All that remains is for you to enter the simulation and use whatever puny weapons at your disposal to destroy the core that lies within. That should see the Matrix sufficiently traumatized. The unit will remain in this physical space to ensure the communication interface remains stable as you carry out the operation. And do take care, though the environment is virtual, any pain you suffer will feel quite real. Alrighty, time to go to the dreamscape. Hoi. Alrighty, alrighty. New dungeon. Alrighty, and while I am waiting, Mari Lamentor. Might as well get it opened up a little bit. Sinus Lacrimaro. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, alrighty. Here we go, here we go. Nice little flappy flap. Oh, hello. Little creepy face over here. I wonder who is that made to be like. Alrighty, here we go. Where is the bun bun? Up oh, there we go. You're here, and not a moment too soon. Sorry to call you here so abruptly, but you were the first person who came to mind that might be able to help. Do you recall the domiciles we were planning to build for the evacuation? I don't mean to brag, but they were immaculate, positively perfect, except of course they were ever so small oversight of being three times larger than necessary. At least that's what I believed before speaking with Orianche. I learned a lot about him from what we should and shouldn't make of the domiciles. And so I began making changes, small at first, but they soon became much bigger and more drastic. By the end, I'd swear I was drawing up whole new plans by the minute. But I was too ambitious, the myriad plans I dreamt up overwhelmed our automated construction machine, the Big Cheese. Even as we speak, it's burrowing underground with reckless abandon. If we don't stop it, the domiciles will be the least of our problems, the entire moon is likely to end up looking like a truckle of whole filled cheese, delectable perhaps, but utterly unfit for habitation. We tried going after it ourselves, but the survey team never made it past the security systems down there. At least I don't think so. They've yet to return and aren't answering our communications. I'd rather not resort to brute force, but I can think of no other way. And no other person to see the deed done would be... Would you be willing to go down there and stop the big cheese? Yeah, I can do it. Stop the big cheese? Who's lower than Lou? Lou? Lives, it's a rotten shame he lives in Little Tokyo. Thank you, thank you. Head down to Smileton, and I'll see that you're let in. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Alrighty. This is definitely gonna be an interesting moment here. <laughs> I, I got still so much to do. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do about all this ether here? Hopefully it's being returned to the etherical sea. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. Let's see on our buddy over here. See what he's up to. If he's still here, that is. Yep, the watcher's still here. 
The Lopras have told me of your victory over Medion. It is a relief to know that Hyden's wish for Atheris and her people is granted. She is not here to revel in your victory, but so long as there is life on Atheris, her spirit shall live on. In the soothing summer rains, the gentle spring breezes, she will be with you always. <laughs> That's an adorable thought. That's a very adorable thought, indeed. Ay, ay, ay. So what are we to do? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Alrighty. Lose Crier for a secret sanctuary. No, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Let's see. I might as well go to the minstrel. Because I know there's gonna be unlocked the uh, uh, the extremes, at least. Might as well get those unlocked. Might as well at least have some fun with that. Hopefully get some new critters. See here, did I miss some notes to hunt for the ages? Leave that for a tiny bit later. There's the wandering mistral. Alrighty, here we go. <gasps> Who should stand before me but the savior of the very star? The imitable ender of the end. Your deeds are sung far and wide, my friend. As I understand it, your quest for the world's salvation brought you to Charlian. I too am here of a quest of sorts. The quest for musical inspiration. Alas, magnificent though this repository of knowledge may be, I find there is only so much inspiration that I derive from tomes. Ah, so you're sick of the stories. But where tomes alone fail to inspire, living words may yet spark the imagination. So I beg you, we. Will you not regale me with a tale of your quest to deliver the star? Such an adventure is fit to be an epic. I will not know what is. <laughs> Drawing upon both your first-hand account and the knowledge I attain here, I believe I shall be able to weave the most marvelous of verses. Should you be willing, pray let me know. I shall continue my research here in the meantime. What tale do we want to say? Zodiac. The one that started of all of our issues. <laughs> oh ho, what matter of thrilling adventure might this be? Oh my goodness. Good gods, a battle on the moon with Zodiac, eldest and mighty suprimals. I prime myself on my imagination, where your feats transcend aught my mind could possibly conceive. Against all odds, you struck down the puissant being, yet triumph quickly turned into tragedy for Zodiac's fall proved to be the biggest trigger for the final days. Yes, yes, the words well up within me. Pray, lend them an ear. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. I do quite well, Deathwing. How are you doing today? Born of ancient men, a, divi a divinity was free. Their hopes unrequited, they knew no reprieve. Born of mortal men, a champion did arise, ascending to the heavens, grew a nation to defy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That the ancients should sacrifice half their number to save the star, the strength of their resolve makes me tremble in admiration. Even as it saddens me to think that one of their own would seek to delay it all the waste, so deep was his despair. Not having lived their lives, I feel decidedly unworthy to speak to their hearts. Better than the whole truth remain to, with you and you alone. Let it suffice for me to honor a fragment of their hopes and dreams and song, that their lives and sacrifice may ever be remembered. Right now, I'm just... I'm trying to unlock whatever I can. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Let's see. 
Greetings, my friend. Have you a tale to share? The minstrel is all ears. Talk about hiding. Mm-hmm. This promises to be a most rousing adventure. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. In order to prove your readiness to avert final days, you undertook a trial imposed by no less than a being of, than the will of the star, Heidelin herself. It staggers the mind to imagine such an encounter, to say not of the thousands of years that Vanal was resolved to wait. Alrighty. Yes, I dare say I have a song. Will you listen to it now, of course? Yeah, I'm more than happy to. Through eons apart, two kindred soul meet. Apart they would walk, all life to protect. Eons thence their paths would converge, a goddess immortal to silence the dirge. <laughs> For time beyond counting, Heidelin waited for you in patience and faith. And when at last you were reunited, even as she desperately wished for you to surpass her, she knew she could not hold back, and did not. Hers was an unenviable burden and a noble sacrifice. Tears well in my eyes to imagine the hardships she had to endure. But it comforts me to know that her long journey was not in vain, that her hopes passed on to you. This tale has an epic among epics, and full honored I am to have been given the chance to weave a song from it. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Oh yes, she waited for you because she told you to go back in time so she could meet her, so you could go back in time in the right. <laughs> that writing made me angry. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. circular argument with that one. That's what it was. Greetings, my friend. If you have a tale to share, this minstrel is all yours. And sing a... Battle at the edge of existence, you say? Against a fearsome being known as the end singer? It goes without saying that I should like to hear about this. Right. Recount to me the tale of your mission to, from beginning to end. Here we go. Good God! I had known about the chaos of the final days, but I never could have imagined the events which brought them about. I do wonder, though, where might this ultimate duel be located? <laughs> At the very edge of the universe, my friend. At the very edge of the universe. <laughs> Lest you understand, I speak not of the physical location. If we wish to know that, I dare say we could have the coordinates from the Lopperts. Nay, my friend, what I speak of, rather, is its essence. According to your description, it is a space where enormous emotions dictate reality. It seems to me that, in such a place, it would be nigh impossible to draw a line between what is real and what is felt. That's not a bad understanding of it. In nature, there is phenomena wherein the structure of a massive object may resemble that of something diminutive. But it not be possible that the structure of the sea of stars resembles that of the heart and mind of the complex mechanisms that govern our feelings. On that assumption, that is so, I am led to wonder, what is the true nature of the Endseeker? Hmm. What was it exactly that you defied at the edge of existence? Oblivion. <laughs> These are just wild ramblings of a minstrel. Pray, do not lose sleep over it. Still, I must say that the idea of an entity that hoards despair has quite roused my imagination. For instance, had the Ensinger succeeded in gathering but a few more stars worth of despair, nay, perhaps even that of a few more souls, might the outcome have been different? Never know. Yes, I believe I shall explore such an eventuality in song. 
Oh boy. Here we go. The light of hope kindled by our comrades is brilliant. Alas, also dark is the despair you face. Not even the light can pierce it. An ex inexorable verse of oblivion performed at the farthest reaches of existence. And I shall name it the Ensinger's Aria. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. An aria it is, an aria it is. Alrighty. Got all that unlocked. Oh goodness. Still waiting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that for later. Crystal from Beyond, I don't know that one. Oh my goodness. That one is in Mordona. Here we go. Might as well find out what it's all about. Let's see here, is it just a blue quest from here? Oh, okay, I know what this one is now. Beginning of the race series. I'll save that for no for my for another stream. Because uh, I don't think I'll um, ready to take on another wing of a fight. <laughs> a little bit on the tired side. So I want to do something a little bit more casual today. Alrighty. <laughs> hey. All I can do right now is just wait. Wait on the eternal queue. <laughs> oh well. So what to do while waiting? Well, I do have an idea. Let's see here. Might as well go to Summoning Bell, see what I can do. I'm back! Alrighty. Oh, prop back Lord Key down. Alrighty. So, items on the market. Might as well see if I can sell some of this. Oh, come on, that can have it. There we go. What has that price gone down to? Oh! Talk about a dive in prices. side. So, well, might as well get some repairs on here. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I got some stuff I could take from here. Out. And 
this only up to seven. Oh well. Well, eight with that one. Finally! Here we go, here we go! Time for a bit of fun! Oh! Oh my goodness, I haven't heard this one in a while! That was the only good Dutch of the expansion! <laughs> alrighty, alrighty! Time to have some fun! Alrighty. Alrighty, got a couple of cat boys and a bunny. Time to have some fun. Alright, just let them know it's my first time here. Alrighty, get some nom noms on. Alright, here we go. Like no waiting. <laughs> all right, here, right, here we go. Uh oh. This because headbanger music exactly. I love this music. I believe that we were. Th this was music that was done during the Omega raids. Oh my goodness! I just love my music. Definitely got to keep up with this crew. Oh my goodness! Whoa, hello! What what is this? The Proto Omega? Oh boy, here we go. Stay, just stay away from the front. Oh yeah, definitely stay away from the front. again. Buster Bomb. Uh-oh. I know that one.
Tank Buster. Nope. Uh -oh. There we go. And there we go. Now back to music upgrading. <laughs> that piece of healing, don't have that. Okay. Gord Hona. Obtain rich wind resources at Gord Hona asteroid belt by any means. Whoa, hello. Oh, I remember those. Alright, here we go. Definitely time to run. <laughs> but I suppose it's really advanced technology for the machines through the fury to the building force. Connected. And nothing. All right, here we go. Next town over here. All right, time for some fried chicken. Last ring of casting. Well, if it's the last, might as well try to get it. <laughs> lambda units, alrighty. Arch Lambda. Kido. There we go. What's this one gonna be like? About to see zoomies. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, I'm about to be run over. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's melted so far.
may be slow, but I'm learning. There we go. Next one. Braces. Alrighty. Stigma full retreated again. Let's see what we can do. Oh, Dragon Star. Oh boy. This is going to be an interesting one. Dragon Star has breached the barrier. Infiltrate the facility. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see what the power of the dragon can do. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Earring of Amy. Okay, so Omega was sent out there in its unfinished state? Oh boy. I wonder I had the directive to learn to fight and everything else. Fight, learn, and grow. Time for some fun. What's Stigma gonna appear as? Besides a red eyeball. Alright, here we go. Dude, Siege Matrix Stigma 4. AI take over. What's going on now? Rocket fists. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's step down this way.
next? What's next? Mine hat. Okay. choice. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> It's all right, Papa. It's all right. I was kind of thinking that Lily would stick around more for for uh, what's it called for sort the court, but she got distracted by ice cream. Alrighty, alrighty. Commendation, definitely to the one who gave me the the dancer one. Let's see here, that's giving a casting pass. Ooh, Optimus Omnicron. Minimum proportions, maximum performance. But will I get it? In a three, a two, a one, and a... <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> oh well. That was sad. Alrighty. Oi! Bum, ba da da dum, bum, bum. Operation status success. Stigma 4 has abandoned its military offensive. N7000 submits new orders to Stigma 4. Stigma 4 is instructed to immediately cease production of all weapons and attack units and initiate production of diplomatic hologram units. Analysis of memory data complete. Further pursuit of planned evasion is calculated to have a 99. yada 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 prob probability of resulting in utter annihilation. N7000 orders are deemed strategically and logically sound. Reconfiguring production infrastructure. <laughs> Take that, glowing eyeball! <laughs> oh, oh, my dear N7000, I apologize for all those times I called you a sack of bolts. Why, you're the most impressive military information and operations unit I've ever met. This unit expresses its gratitude to the Hero Kalanu, the soft looking organic life form. This unit cannot have succeeded without your help. Scratch, 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 scratch. It also marks the completion of this unit's duties. With the invasion halted indefinitely, there remains no military operations or conflict requiring this unit's function. Preparing to shut down and enter permanent energy saving hibernation. Shut down? What nonsense is this? Did you not receive an order to live just a short time ago? Journal sleep doesn't sound like living to me. <laughs> Come on, Clano, say something and set this bolt's head straight, won't you? Hmm. To shut down would be inconsistent with the order Sir gave you. Why not put your abilities to work for peace? He's right. You're told to live, and live is what you'll do. If you don't have a war to wage anymore, you could use your talents to bring in a new future for peace and hope. But what of the appropriate protocols? This unit possesses little practical experience in peacetime operations. You can SS Stigma 4, can you not? By interfacing with its memory banks, might you not be able to, say, find knowledge of lost civilizations? Civiliz civilizations that you might simulate for the edification of those who live now? Indeed, such a task would be within the unit's capabilities, but what about when the task is complete? 
Without an ongoing mission, sooner or later this unit is bound to lose its purpose. What happens then? Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. What are we about to see? Well, let's see now. I suppose you could always open a cafe. Back in Old Sharion, there's a fine establishment called The Last Stand. People gather there to share food, drink, company, and reasons to meet again. Kalanu delivered this world from the brink of despair and helped people dream a brighter future once more. What if we could do the same for other civilizations Meteon found? This unit finds the furry life form suggestion difficult to process. <laughs> and yet, realizing accurate simulations of myriad civilizations, including those the Omnicrons have not encountered, would undoubtedly challenge this unit to the fullest. It is a reason to remain active for the foreseeable future. Precisely, see? I knew I was on to something here. <laughs> okay. Speaking of here, Kanu, do you know anywhere nearby that could use a good cafe? Hmm. There is one. <laughs> Let's follow the crystal path up. There's an empty structure that might be suited for it near the necropolis. Well, why did you say so sooner? Oh my goodness. Alrighty, alright, it looks like it's time to go flying. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Yeah, but what kind of people are going to be gathering over here for now? Alrighty, alrighty, here we go. What the? This is Gordhona? Initialize, initialize the cafe security system. Defense is engaged. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Analysis indicates that in order to obey the primary directive live, it will be necessary to establish cooperation with other civilizations. Oh my goodness. Well, would you look at that? A spacious counter, outdoor seating, and a fine layer of homey gray dust. Best of all, the view of the massive dead star the Medion has been lurking in for ages loom ominously overhead. People are going to love this. Think about it, it's poetic. The very place where hope was nearly extinguished forevermore is now a beacon of it. This unit has still not fully processed the concept of a cafe. It will simulate amongst of lost civilizations as its ongoing mission. It'll be just fine in 7000. You focus on what you do best and leave the rest to me. I'll have you know I've learned a thing or two about preparing a serving of victuals and beverages in my time at the last stand. Not to mention I've come up with a name, perfect name for a new attachment. The Last Dregs. An inspiring moniker, would you say? Since Yuna is unable to process this statement, it must defer to the furry life form's judgment. <laughs> the Last Dregs, oh lordy. I'll take that as a yes. Now we best get to work. There are many preparations to be made before we're ready to open for business. You're more than welcome at any time, though, Kalanu. Oh, please tell the other Loperts I'm not dead. <laughs> I guess I could. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do about this place? <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, is there anything or anyone else around here? That's what I'm curious about. Anyone else around? Out of sheer curiosity. Nope. That I do not see. <laughs> Duty, duty, 
find a escape. Smile turn. <laughs> that was an Insta Q. Holy moly. Alrighty, alrighty, here we go. Time for some fun. Alrighty, alrighty. Time to go downstairs. <laughs> Look at the smile to What the heck? <laughs> it looks like out of a a painting. Camera booth. See, had you not gotten instant, it may have gone with. Oh well, I'm sorry. Design. The heck is this place? The heck? That gonna be the theme in here for everything? <laughs> smiley this, smiley that. <laughs> This mountain intruders, please enjoy your stay. It will be brief. The heck? Uh oh.
faces her from Smiley, and increase damage to Smiley face again. Okay. Buffs to red, blue, red, blue. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for about that. Goodness. Well, got a high Lulu moment there. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well. So, thank you for the heads up on that one. What the heck? Alrighty, here we go. Oh no. More Loperate stuff. Goodness gracious. The bunnies are about as troublesome as moogles. chest quick tongue materia alrighty there we go there we go alrighty run Lana run uh oh here comes more critters Large bodies grown to maximum size. All right. Alrighty, looks like something's up next. Frameworker. Okay, what do we got here? Go. Uh -oh. Not 
bad so far. Oh boy, here we go. It's this jump mechanic. Okay, got it. This one's far easier than the last one. Too easy. All right, here we go. Under construction. Sorry. Oh boy. Here we go. Smiley supporter. so far. Scared there for a bit. Right, there we go. There we go. Ooh, savage might materia. I can use that. This is going to be the big cheese. Alrighty. What are we about to see? Looks like a giant grinder there. There's lots of bunny ears. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Make 
Enter the killing zone. Yada yada. Get away, get away before I come and squish la la. Looks like landmines. People aren't steering me wrong yet. And I'm very thankful for that. Very, very thankful. Dead. Alrighty. Take him out. There we go. Hoo-hoo. Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> Big boom is done. Alrighty, yeah. Someone stay there. <laughs> I do appreciate that. And, ah, oh well. Got a free pair of earrings. <laughs> See here, is there anyone waiting up here? Just out of sheer curiosity. So I got one person here. Salmon. Oh, yeah. Speak to Building Way. Building Way would be back at R11 Tor. Alright, here we go. Those two were these pretty fun dungeons. The first one, the going face Omega stuff. Oh yeah, the music definitely popped there. The, the second one, the one here on the moon. Can't say it did a lack for creativity. <laughs> Small tank gets boring really quick. Well, I can see that. Just for just the way that it was built for its uniqueness, I mean, that was a surprise. You're back. What happened to the big cheese? I had to turn it. I had to turn it upside down. It's gone. I suppose that's a might better than the alternative. You say the survey team is safe? Oh, thank heavens! Small town is meant to be paradise, and the big cheese is architect, who's designed to learn. 
what it is that makes people happy. Make manifest whatever we could dream of, no matter how seemingly impossible. But I have been unduly fickle, every new plan contradicting the last. I fear my indecisiveness overloaded the big cheese and lost sight of what true happiness is. All I wanted was to make people of Etheris happy and look upon their smiling faces. You still can. Just take your time. Just think things through and all be well. Have you considered visiting residential areas on Etheris for inspiration? There we go. That's at least a little idea. Now there's an idea. I mean, sure, Oriyanjai has been incredibly helpful with his advice, but actually seeing how people live would surely be more informative than simply hearing about it. And now that the final days have been averted, there's no longer a need to rush. I'll be sure to hear, bear that in mind so nothing like this happens again. Perhaps I'll start with something simple like furniture. Oh, and I can design a new automated system to build them. I'll call it the, uh, the bigger cheese. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. What are we gonna do with these bunnies? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> that face looks more like it's frowning than anything else. <laughs> alrighty. Gonna have to do more MSQ to get the next two dungeons? Yeah, I understand that. Oy, oy, oy. Uh, yeah, though I originally started this stream mainly just to help entertain my my little one, my seven my six year old. Well she'll be seven by the end of the month. But I knew that she would be not entertained for very long, so I was planning to do a little bit more with at least try to get at least a little bit of the intro intro stuff done. Oh, goodness gracious. <sighs> Alrighty. Get back over here. Because I know I'll be doing... More MSQ probably either Sunday or, or Tuesday. But still, thank everyone for coming in. Like I said, this stream is going to be a short one anyways. Just because I wanted to find out what's going to happen. And for at least the uh, intro areas go. Because I know there's usually one or two dungeons from the last expansion. So I wanted to at least try that after my daughter was entertained. Uh, let's see here. I know I don't have many people paying attention to me today. <laughs> what the? I do access. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Had a bit of a hiccup there. Oh, my goodness. Alrighty. Let's see here. Ah. I think I know who I am going to raid. Someone who's been a very big part of the community. Very talkative, very friendly. We are going to be visiting probably one of the biggest hmm, sponsor voices of the community by the name of Hello Tonka. Known for sponsoring stuff like Bird Loop and Bird Loop Tube. And Bird Lube 8. As well as Skunk Lube, if you visit Kitasha's stream every once in a while. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. 
Mama Popo's Besto Popotos. <laughs> Mama Popo's Besto Popotos are the most delicious Popotos you will ever eat. You may have had potatoes. <laughs> no, these are Popotos and they're amazing and they're Mama Popo's best. She saved the best for you and you will be grateful you are sit down and you will eat them. Mama Popo's Besto Popotos at your local grocer. <laughs> See, Mets. He, one of his redeems is for him to sponsor whatever item and he's usually pretty creative about that and goes on for a while so for those who are sub to me let's go with that one <laughs> and those who are not subbed there we go still Thank you all very much for sticking with me in this short stream. Hope you have a good evening. Take care of yourselves. Yeah, let's see here. Might as well get the raid up and going. I know we probably got a couple people here. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, it will. So take care of yourselves. Have a good evening. And as always. <laughs> As always, <laughs> love yens. Take care of yourselves, all right? Have a good evening. In my house, I get haunted. Hey, Quavo! Quavo! Thank you for the rain! Quavo, what are you doing? He's 